Hi everyone. Firstly, I'd like to thank everybody for their feedback and the comments on um, my pin cushions. So thank you very much. Um, and this one in particular. So I thought I'd show you how I put this one together. So this is my crown one. Um, I start off just with a, a metal bangle, just a, a standard metal bangle. I mean, these seem so tiny. I mean, they're, they're just... I don't know how anybody gets them on. They must have really tiny hands to get them on. But for, for making pincushions, bangles are the perfect size. Um, I like the, these metal ones because they've actually got a pattern where you can see through them. So when you put the fabric into them, you can actually see it through the bangle itself. So I start with the, the bangle and I need to cut a piece of card just to sit on this inside ledge um, because I don't want to cover any of the holes so I don't want to make a cut like I normally do where I'd, I'd cut the circle and then cut an outer circle and, and cut little slots in it and sit them inside because I don't want that to see the cardboard I need to cut it just to sit on this little ledge inside here so I'll take my piece of card and draw as tightly to the edge of the bangle as possible because we're going to cut just inside this line so that it hopefully will sit just on this little ledge so I'll take my scissors and just cut following the line but just inside it and this will hopefully as I say sit on a little ledge and become the the base of the pincushion. I might have to trim it a bit but hopefully if I can get that in there that sits nice and snugly into the bottom and I'll be able to glue that on and have a nice base and I'll take that out because not only do I want the card base I want to put some of this faux leather on the underside so again, I take my bangle and this time on the inside, drawing on the inside, I've got a, um, a blue dressmaker's pencil. So I'll just draw a line on the inside so that I can see, see the mark. These are, these are great, they, they draw on a lot, a lot of things. So, And then just cut this out and this will fit nicely on the underside of the um, of the base to give it a a nice finish so so now this will fit underneath once I've glued the card in now to do this I don't use a glue gun to do this because it's a bit fiddly and you want it to sit on this ledge so I use you who I know it takes a, a longer time to to set but you have a little bit more flexibility with it initially and then um, that's my scrap card and then you can sort of get the, the base in and seat it on this this ledge and let it dry so I just put that around the inside edge there and so I've got a bit more time with this than I would have with the glue gun so I'm going to take my piece of card put it back inside make sure it's nice and squared off on the, the edges just hold it, give it a bit of a push and, and a of a head start 
um, and this is why I've got the board underneath because I like to be able to apply a bit of pressure to things so I use the, um, this is just a chopping board so I use this underneath so I can put a bit of uh, pressure down on it and I'm going to have to put this aside and leave it to dry and then I'll put the bottom on right once that's nicely set into there um, I want to put the the base piece on so again I just take my yoo and just spread it around on the, the cardboard making sure I get into the edges give it a bit of extra strength um, and then just take a piece of card and just spread it out evenly over the base so we've got a nice even coating I'm going to take my bit of fake leather and sit that onto the base there so we can move it around again because it's the yoo you can shift it around a bit but that's nicely in there now there's a little bit of a, a gap around the outside I'll try and square it off a bit and then just put that aside to to dry ready to start with making the the cushion now I've cut a sort of a really really rough circle to make the top piece um, and normally when I, I do the pin cushions I'm putting the wadding into whatever I'm using and cramming it in tightly and then putting the, the fabric around and pushing it right the way down the edges well for this one obviously I want to make it raised and I thought about taking the the wadding and you know putting it into the middle and, and trying to pull it tight and but you, you don't get a, a nice shape and actually getting a really strong um, and, and tight finish to it is quite difficult so I had a thought and I looked at a roll of tape this is a, a wide roll this is just plastic tape um, I thought well that's pretty much a nice size for for the top of the the crown on the, the pin cushion so as I say I cut a rough circle um, plonk this pretty much in the middle and push the fabric in and then you take your wadding and literally pack it and this is another reason why I like the hard surface underneath because you want to pack this really tightly and just keep packing it with wadding if I can get hold of it um, as I say I mean it uses loads you can you can pack loads and loads and loads into this and you're going to get a nice uniform shape for the the dome on the crown so again look that's all gone into there and I can still get more in so <coughs> let's just grab some more and I find you do it until basically you can't get any more in above the height of the top of the tape reel but just keep pushing it in and pushing it in until it's really tightly crammed so I don't think I can get any more in there oh no see this you can you can feel the, the gaps around the sides so you want it nice and tight and even across the sides and then what I did was I cut a slightly smaller disc that fits inside here to attach the fabric to so you can bring that across 
glue it down and then cut away the excess and then bring the next piece across until you've got all your fabric pulled in and glued onto that centre disc and you get a a nice neat finish on the bottom not too much bulk and then this will sit into here for these the start of the of the crown right once I've pulled all the the edges in and, and glued them I just put this piece of this is just thin card over the top of the joins in the center just to give it a bit of extra security while we're putting the actual cushion together um, and now hopefully as I say it's still inside the tape but it does have a nice shape to it and I'm hoping that when it comes out of here it's going to hold its shape and we'll be able to put it into the bangle and see the purple fabric through the holes in the bangle so you just slide it out and you've got a pretty nice shape it's still obviously you can still maneuver it a bit because it's it's got a bit of flexibility to it and I'm going to need that to put it inside the the bangle but it has given a really nice shape to to create the dome on the crown so I take my bangle and this is going to be obviously it's, it's, it is bigger than the the bangle at the moment but what I do is I use I've got this which is a metal letter opener and I just use it just to gently push the dome into the bangle working it evenly all the way around so the card inside the the dome will help it seat in the correct position inside and you just push gently on the top and just feed it in through the sides until it hits the bottom and check that it's going in fairly evenly and as I say you've got a nice tight cushion for, for the pins so that's fed right down to the bottom I think just check it okay now that's in there nice and tightly it's fairly even all the way around and as I say you can see the fabric through through the bangle so you're not seeing any cardboard so you can see the fabric through here but it's given a, a nice tight yep that's right down to the bottom so it's given a, a nice shape a very solid pin cushion right once you're happy that you've got the the shape that you're, you're looking for and it's seated nicely into the the bangle the next thing we want to do is the cross pieces now I use this which is a, a silver trim and it has the seed beads in it and not realizing that I didn't I didn't look at it properly when I did this one um, the seed beads are actually fed into the trim with a, a nylon like a fishing line and I glued the trim onto this one with the hot glue gun and it melted the strings so I had to go back and basically just use a glossy accents just to make sure that the the beads were secure on the on the trim so for this one I am going to use the glue gun to secure it initially to the bangle 
um, because obviously that's right on the end so if these beads fall off that's that's not such a problem and to uh, find the center point this bangle has a a seam so I'll take the trim and actually that's got no beads on that little bit so I'll just cut this flush and then I'm just going to push into the side there put a bit of glue with a hot glue gun and just secure this centrally to the seam on the bangle so hopefully this is hot enough and I won't make the same mistake again so I'll just put push that aside in a little bit put a little bit of glue into there take my trim and sit it centrally to the to the seam line and then take it over keeping it as even as, as you can And then what I'm going to do, because I don't I don't want it loose on here, so I'm actually going to try with glossy accents to glue this right the way across the pincushion and then again secure it on this side with the the hot glue gun. So <clears throat> excuse me, so I'll get my glossy accents. So I've repeated that again with the other side, tucking it into the bangle on that side, pulling it across, putting glossy accents underneath it, and then gluing it in to this side of the bangle. Um, so now I'm just going to secure the actual cushion into the, the bangle as well, because you want it in there nice and tight. So again with the hot glue gun just push gently away from the edge and just glue just below the edge of the fabric Don't worry too much if there's a bit of glue on the outside, you can pull any bigger pieces off, but I am going to be putting a um, a pearl trim around this, so if there's any major glue issues, they should be covered by the, by the pearl trim, so that's nicely secure into the the bangle edge and it's starting to look a bit more like the crown now so again I always like to to work with with trim or anything if, if there's a seam on something or a join or I always like to work from that same join so you've got all the the joins lined up together um, so again I'll find the join on the back of the bangle and start fixing this pearl trim into it just pulling ever so slightly into the pincushion just to, to tighten it off a bit Right, so we've got the pearl trim 
around the edge there. Um, I did manage to melt the line again, so I have gone around again with glossy accents, just putting it onto the end of the the line so that the beads don't fall off. Um, I'll have to to try a different trim. It's just I, this one was so nice, and the, with the beads on it, it it really does pick up on the light and but now I'll have to, to find a, a different silver trim that I can use to, to do them in future. Um, now I want to, to work on the top which is obviously this piece this piece and the sparkly bit um, so for this bit it's a, a bead a bead a button with the shank on the back so we don't need that so that can come off as close it's a metal button so as close to the uh, to the actual base of the button that you can get to take it off because you don't want too much of a a rise on it when you put it on the top of the pin cushion and for the for for this piece I've got a large charm bead that I'm going to fit over the the centre of that and to do that I found that um, the best thing to use is is this which is a it's a gel super glue so it's not runny and it sets really quickly so you only need a, a few drops which just make sure it's so you only need a, a, a very small amount, so I'm just going to take it around with a few dots on the top of here. And then take my charm bead and make sure that I get the glue on it and make sure that it's central. And just hold it for a, a few seconds to let it catch. Now that's set onto here. Um, that's the basis of the top section of the crown. And now I want to put that onto here. Um, so you need to, to centralise it as much as possible into the top and then I'm hoping I've secured the the beads now so I'm going to try with the glue gun put it around the center of the bead and onto the centre of the crown just pushing down slightly on it so that's fairly fairly central in the top and obviously when I let go of it it's going to spring back but um, I'll show you what I shall do with that in a second so that's that's sprung back because it's actually stuck to the strands and not to the cushion itself so in order to do that I need to get my glue gun again and under each of the corner pieces I want to put enough glue in to hold it but not enough so that it's obviously noticeable Once the button is nice and secure on the top, then it's just a case of fitting your 
bead or um, in this case my sort of sparkly diamante bead um, this one's more like a pendant actually it's got a little loop on it but I'll just fill this full of glue full of hot glue which should grab this nicely and that's it that's grabbed hold of that and that's that's about it so again it's a a copy of that one but I just wanted to uh, to show you how I'd finished it. There's a couple of glue incidents on here, but I should be able to get those off. But there we have the crown pin cushions. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Bye.